Well, got some Calgary Flames news here, but this is more off the ice as opposed to on the ice here. And I'm kind of decked out. Well, I'm in the Flames jersey and got to wear my cowboy hat. No, to represent the Western Heritage Hospitality, but it kind of ties in with this announcement here, or at least it's tentative, that Calgary Flames and the City of Calgary says they have a tentative agreement here on building this new arena that eventually will replace the Scotiabank South Dome here that opened its doors back in 1983 here and if you've definitely been following along here both locally and uh, in the NHL here that apparently we need a new arena and I mean, it's uh, the building is definitely almost 40 years old here, which in these days it's definitely considered uh, an old building now with all the newer sports arenas being built around North America here. And also the fact that uh, it's a uniquely shaped saddle, which goes back to our Western heritage and hospitality there. I mean, the saddle dome looks unique. It's a saddle-shaped roof, hence the name Saddle Dome. It's a parabolic structure there. Although these days, Calgary is starting to miss out on, you know, big concerts and that because in the middle of the building there, the roof is much lower. So a lot of stages in that can't support. So we lose a lot of, you know, concerts in that. And also now these days, it's more than just a building for for these guys to play in, but you need a multi-purpose gathering spot for, uh, you know, concerts and other events there. Also, these guys, the principal owners, also own the uh, Calgary Hitmen and the Calgary Roughnecks, who also play currently in the uh, South Dome there, but they also own the CFL's Calgary Stampeders here, and as I'll get to the story here, one piece of this is that we got a question, what's the future for the Calgary Stampeders and their place, McMahon Stadium? Is it's, it's definitely a, an old archaic building, and being a CFL fan here, and also been on some games on the road here, and some Grey Cups, that definitely the CFL has much, much nicer, more modern stadiums that definitely put... Our house at McMahon Stadium to shame there. I haven't been to other arenas in the NHL here, but I've heard many stories that definitely keep in mind while the Saddam was built, you know, designed and built in the early 80s, and that was one of the buildings that was used for the 1988 Winter Olympics there, and if we decided to go ahead with the bid for the 2026 20, Winter Olympics, I'm sure we would have won. The Saddle Dome actually still would have been adequate enough. That's what the IOC said. And for the record there, actually, the 2026 Winter Olympics will be going to Italy, actually, the Milan and Cortana. And he beat Stockholm, Sweden there. Anyway, back to the story here. That the, you know, the city and the Calgary Flames can ten of agreement here. I mean, there was definitely a lot of closed doors here. It seems to be the way especially our city council and the Flames like to uh, do their businesses here and of course this also becomes a big issue about when it comes to uh, taxpayers and the amount of money you spend. I mean unfortunately we don't have as much clout to do private funded buildings. I mean when you see some of these going back to talk of football but in the NFL here, when you've seen these new fancy schmancy NFL stadiums being built, and here they cost like one and a half billion dollars. And keep in mind that's in US dollars, so if you do the exchange there, we're almost talking about two million dollars Canadian here. That I mean, still some taxpayers have paid the bill for it, but uh, there was a lot more private funds here, and then here we are in. 2019 here, if you remember four years ago, the original plan was to talk about all four teams, is that there would have been, it was called the Calgary Next Project, and 
that project definitely hasn't is not going to happen here. But the uh, fact that they were proposed in that in the West Village, the west side of downtown there, which there hasn't been as much development, that there would have been a new facility and field house where the new arena was going to be, and then there'd be a new field house, an indoor track that's open here in 65 days a year, and that eventually would have been the new McMahon Stadium or home for the Calgary Stampeders, and it'd be an indoor stadium, which, you know, in some way would be nice to have one, especially with the crazy weather here. But then there was a lot of issues with the, uh, because right now in that west part of the city there, well, the Greyhound building there, well, now that Greyhound has pulled out of Western Canada there, and then the dealership there where it sat on that land there near Sonalta there, and then now the LRT is, goes by there, it would have, the whole stadium would have been built there, and, and then, but then there was issues about uh, cleaning up the land, because there used to be like a mill processing plant there long before my time, and of course they're out of business, and it always comes down to a, you know, hissy matchup and who's going to build it. But eventually, that wasn't, that's just a you know, short story on it. But now they were talking about, well, if you go on the east side of downtown here in Calgary, on the East Village, there's definitely been a lot more redevelopment there, and that's where the Stampede grounds are, and there's definitely a lot of empty space there just north of the uh, Saddle Dome, and apparently this is where this eventual, or the plan is, is where this new arena is going to be built here, and recently there was an old house there that burnt down, and you know, I was going to wonder why that house was there, and the timing all that seems to be odd, and also if you go back to my Corel series videos there, one of the reasons why I took in the Corel series was, you know, see some live hockey in the old the old arena there, but part of this, all this big redevelopment plan here in the West Village and Stampede Park, or East Village, you say, and Stampede Park there, is that the Vimo Center is going to be part of it, and this new arena is all part of the plans, and I know that there's eventual plans that the Saladome was going to be all demolished, and eventually it was going to be an all multi-purpose facility there. But uh, before I bring up the Sportsnet story here, this is all kind of similar to what's happened up in Edmonton there with the, uh, call it the Ice District there where they built the new Rogers Place and uh, all the new high rises and condominiums there and a lot more, uh, you know, commercial mixed use there, which there's always a debate on, you know, does it bring more economic development or, uh, Ultimately, when it comes to taxpayer dollar here, but keep in mind this is a, a tentative deal here. But it sounds like uh, we're actually closer to having a resolution between the city and the Flames here because they definitely weren't seeing eye to eye there. Or uh, after the next project, and then it became kind of an, a divisive uh, mayoral campaign when we had our municipal election there. A couple of years ago, where apparently there was some deal there, and then eventually the nail campaign happened, and it was like the deal's off. But uh, keep in mind, this is a tentative deal here. That's what I'm bringing from Sportsnet here. It says the Calgary Flames have reached a tentative deal with the city for a new arena. Sportsnet Eric Francis has confirmed. Post Media, which basically owns both of our papers, their own son was the first to uh, report the agreement here. And this is as per the Calgary Herald. City Council members will discuss this agreement on Monday afternoon. So this is July 19th as I'm recording it. So Monday, July the 22nd, 2019. Of course, at a closed door meeting, I mean, it's, this is all being quiet. And then I just had a notification on my phone that, oh, a tentative agreement's been hit. So maybe I didn't think I was worried about the Calgary Flames ever lose. Movie. It would definitely be a political suicide if you were part of the council that uh, well, I couldn't agree with the city and uh, and the Flames to lose our hockey team here. So one t tweet from Eric Francis here says, No announcement to be made on the arena deal by Flames Monday, but the city council has it on their agenda and will reveal details of their plan here. Framework of deal between Flames and city still subject to council vote. So time to celebrate. New Arena isn't here yet. 
but it's awfully close. So it sounds like we are closer to there being a new arena. And one of the, one of the things, especially, are the commissioner of the NHL saying that apparently, even though we sell out the Saddle Dome, apparently uh, Calgary's now taking more money in this equalization payment. Apparently, so I guess one thing you could admit that uh, one thing to sell them has when when you look at the other arenas in the NHL, there especially arenas have been built for the last ten years. Is that the lower bowl and we have and don't have as many luxury boxes, so we don't have as many premium seating that to make that extra revenue that newer buildings have here. But I mean, still we're going back to a building that was designed back in the eighties. It tells you how the business of sport has changed here because I mean you got older buildings like up here in Canada the old Montreal Forum and Maple Leaf Gardens have been around for you know much much longer than that before you know they got their new buildings there but well the Flames and Maple Leafs had their new buildings you know later in the 90s there so as I said this new arena in question will replace the Flames current home the Scotiabank Cell which was built in 1983 there so we're talking about a building that's going to be almost 40 years old here by the time when this move into this new arena is going to happen here. Second tweet from Eric Francis here, which sounds actually a lot more intriguing and maybe we'll have a better deal than people up at M tier. Keep this Battle of Alberta thing going here. Eric Francis has confirmed the Flames owner's investment in the city-owned arena will be significantly more than Daryl Cates contributed to, to the arena up in Edmonton here. So maybe, maybe we won't pay as much taxes as people up in Edmonton. Flames would run the arena, which will be owned by the city. Again, the parameters of the deal are all subject to council voting here. So I think I'll make a follow-up video here, hopefully when they announce that this will go ahead here. So to continue on the story here, Councillor... Jeff, Jeff Davison, chair of the council's event center committee, said earlier this month that discussions are productive, but they are not complete. So, uh, let's see once again, some optimism here. And then he continues on. This is Jeff Davison. We can't give an exact date as to when we'll be back with any information, but I'm confident if we do bring a plan back that the public will support it, Davison told Post Media. And then it finishes off here. It says the cost of the new, this will be an 18,000 seat NHL arena, which will actually be slightly smaller than the uh, current capacity of the saddle on there, because 19,289 is the official capacity for a sellout here. So getting back to the last part of the story here, is the cost of the new 18,000 seat NHL arena is com currently projected by the Calgary Municipal Land Corporation the line to be between five hundred fifty million and six hundred million dollars here. So uh, I'd just say there's definitely some progress made on the whole arena and getting a new arena here for the Calgary Flames here. And also, I'm going to assume that the Hitmen and the Roughnecks will follow suit and play in this new building as well. There was other, this was just on the sports and app there, but uh, apparently if things were all to go ahead here and get approved here, that construction will start on this new arena in 2021, so a couple of years here. So let's say three years it would take to uh, build this new arena, so it probably won't be till about the uh, 2024-25 season that the uh, we would be playing in this new arena, assuming everything happens here. But, uh, I mean, we'll see on the final details here on what the major plan is and if they go ahead with it. But, I mean, I have mixed feelings on it. I still think that uh, the owners should definitely pay their fair share in, uh, in this building here. And, I mean, all these... Money will definitely be recruited back in ticket sales and merchandise sales and beer sales and all that. I mean, there's always, I mean, of course, there's going to probably be a 
some levy posted on tickets here and when you go to an event at the Sal Dome or the new Sal Dome or the new building when the time comes here but uh, I mean it's definitely some progress made but it remains to be seen here and of course being in the engineering and planning industry here this will definitely be a boon to our business if if we get this uh, arena built but uh, yeah I mean uh, we definitely supposedly need it and just I do think there would definitely be some economic activity because we will definitely get more concerts here and uh, hopefully maybe more tourists and attractions here and you know it all goes back to the Calgary Stampede and you know maybe because I do also think that the Stampede grounds definitely could be expanded too because it seems like you can only fit so many people in the grounds there however you just do I do wonder if the Flames actually get a new building here and and the Flames own the Stampeders as well you gotta wonder what's the plans for uh, McMahon here because uh, that stadium is definitely very very dated and uh, definitely needs a facelift or we definitely could use a you know a newer stadium for the Calgary Stampeders here I mean there's been proposals about rebuilding the whole thing but then you almost gotta wonder where they're gonna play if we're gonna rebuild the stadium where it is right now I mean it's in a good location near the university there and it's the university that owns the property there but yeah, you know, I mean, we definitely still need the field house too, but uh, I mean, we have to also be selective on what projects to uh, go after here, especially when times are still tough and still trying to get out of this economic downturn here. But uh, I just still see some progress here, and the Flames own all the property there, and they should still be able to pay for much of it there. And it sounds like that uh, the Calgary would get a better deal with that than up uh, the road up in Edmonton there but uh, yeah this is just my quick take on uh, what sounds like maybe will finally be an end to this arena saga here I mean this next project uh, was announced four years ago and there was just too much bickering and it always seems to always come to become a political game and and, and they actually remember when they announced this next project definitely seemed like an ambitious neat project there and apparently that project at that time was going to cost uh, 900 million dollars keep in mind it would have had everything we needed in one place and I still think it would have been cheaper if we did that instead of building a new arena and get a new McMahon and I mean if you also see around McMahon Stadium there I mean you got Bernstein and there where the old cannons used to play and then we had an independent baseball team and the uh, the Vipers and now that stadium is not used and you might as well knock that down and build a new field house there or maybe a smaller arena but uh, you know who knows what future has in store there but uh, anyway if you enjoy everything I do on my YouTube channel just uh, make sure you hit like subscribe there but I guess I'll follow up with this uh, when we find out uh, what the city announces and what they decide here just to post some sports content here but this kind of just came out of nowhere but you keep you kept hearing rumors that oh there's progress being made but it's all seemed to be underground and of course to keep the taxpayers out of the loop here and then suddenly surprise let's hope we don't get too much surprises with how much taxes you got to pay but uh, I also love my team here too and uh, we need still need the a team here to you know cheer on and show our pride in so as I say go flames and I'll see you in the next video